Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today we're touring a truly special island. It's Halloween and I figured what better island to tour than an island that is dedicated to Stephen King novels. The King of Horror. This island we've already seen a little bit of and it is truly something to behold the entire island is dedicated to stephen king and there's even this outfit when you go to the dream address uh let's go ahead and open up the map here real quick so everybody can see what the goings on with the map setup is uh we've got quite a few locations dedicated to stephen king books and a couple other hints throughout the island we've obviously got the uh lord of death himself pietro we've got raymond Anka, Lucky, just a, a really good lineup of villagers and some good variety here as well. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to this. I do hope everybody enjoys this Animal Crossing Island tour. And if you do, make sure to let the creator know what you thought in the comments below because hundreds of hours of work went into creating this island. Uh, so let's go ahead and go down from the central area. And I want to see if we can head to an area that's labeled as Jerusalem's Lots. Um, or can we squeeze through here? Just, and it's, the decorating on the island itself is just really nice, especially with this fog. It just looks so freaking beautiful. So right here, we've got, uh, dedicated to Christine. Like, look at the blood splatters, and the, the themes for these are just so perfect as well. When you approach these, these little areas that are dedicated to the books, you, like, almost automatically know what they are dedicated to at first i thought this might have been from a buick 8 but a lot of people i don't think actually read from a buick 8 but um i don't know i actually really really liked it now up here with the house is really really cool so we've got this area fully dedicated to 11 uh which is actually a show on hulu now as well and i actually highly recommend either watching the show or reading the book because it's truly just really really good story now the inside of this house here is actually dedicated to al's diner now, i don't want to give any spoilers away if you haven't actually seen it is that a mirror oh no it's just partially taking up the doorway to the back of al's diner and in the back obviously we've got all of the the storage and everything this is actually really nice like it's basically both the refrigeration area and the cooking area with the foggy floor I actually really like the way that's decorated. So having a house dedicated to Al's diner is actually pretty darn cool. So if we head down this way, what does this person say? Do you think I'm weird? Oh, okay. Well, hello, Gordy. And no, I don't think you're weird. You couldn't have normal without weird. But down on the beach here, I'm not sure what's going on. We've got a little, like, lifeguard. But then there's blood, a bucket, and a well. It looks so good with the fog. Like, look at that. I've been trying to get fog on my Southern Hemisphere Island forever. And I just couldn't, I couldn't get it. I even used like the, the little, the, the thing where you can predict your weather. We got a tent here with shoes outside. This looks so good. Like the decorating alone, not to mention tying everything in with Stephen King novels is top tier island decorating. Truly really beautiful in its own right. So I believe this area here is themed for misery. Look at this. The the bed here and then the, the chains and like locked. And then we've got the, the wheelchair and everything, the blood splatter, the axe. So we could go up that way with the stairs. That music is just so eerie with the fog. Like the vibe of this island is awesome. So down here, we've got some more blood splatters. We've got a pumpkin. Looks like we've got a, a symbol right there. And then we've got the tarot cards, a little presents. I believe this is dedicated to Dr. Sleep. We got the stars and the mushrooms and everything. We got Sherb's house. Sherb is inside, of course. And then over here, oh, it's Anka's house. And this is for Duma Key. Oh, the red balloon. 
We all know what that's what the red balloon's all about. <laughs> yeah, so this is for Duma Key down here. Ooh, where does this go? That music, so it's a little dead end. Nice. Wait, can we actually squeeze through there? Oh, we can. I don't think we're supposed to go that way, though. But I am absolutely in love with this island. And I've been wanting to record a tour of this island for a while. But I figured, you know what? What better day than to record and release this on than Halloween? I like how this little set of stairs is kind of hidden, especially with, like, the fog and everything. We got Raymond up here. Everybody loves Raymond, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. There's blood splatters on the clothes and then below the clothesline right here, too. Some kind of super secret spoopy murder happening. Whose house is that? This is... Actually, I don't even know what villager that is. Is there more blood behind this house? No, that's just some some leaves and stuff on the ground. Okay. There's another red balloon. Of course, they're near, like, all the bridges and whatnot. <laughs> uh, so let's see what's going on here. Ooh. Got a garden and axe. I like this. This is set up really, really nice. The suitcase right there. So this is for the secret window. Oh, I know. I remember where we're going to right now. Everybody's probably going to figure this one out or like right off the bat. We got all these fireplaces here. We've got a pentagram on the ground. We've got all sorts of stuff. We got the, the missing animals. So this whole area up top, the pet cemetery, is uh, dedicated to Salem's Lot. It looks so good, and I love all the different terraforming. And then look at this bridge that goes across here. So before we go fully across the bridge, uh, we can go down here. To look at the giant crab. I never actually caught one of these. I think if you touch it, it does things, doesn't it? It just... Or is it just slowly moving? Oh, of course, this is Pietro's house. We've got the tricycle all destroyed right here. Hey, Pietro should burn that house to the ground while we still can. And then... Yes, look at this. This is so well done through here. I absolutely love the way this looks. And look, even the graveyard has, like, previous villagers that she's had... And their frames next to the graves. That is so cool. I love how the fog even goes down into the hole down there. Oh, it just looks so good. I could go to the right. Do I want to go to the right? Let's keep exploring the, the cemetery here. Good lord. Okay. That just keeps going back. I got to figure out where I even am on the map right now. I feel like I just got lost. Okay, no, that's the pet cemetery that we're still in. I think that goes all the way to the back to uh, the secret beach area, which is right down there. Okay, so we had Salem's Lot. Now we're into the pet cemetery fully. We've got the pentagram right there. Uh, but you know what? I think that is from those symbols. Are they from... So one of my favorite series from Stephen King is the, uh, the Gunslinger trilogy. Or not trilogy, but um, the Dark Tower series. Uh, the Gunslinger being the first book in the series. And I believe those symbols are from that. I'll have to actually double check here with Anna, who is the creator of this island. See if I'm right about that. Got a little snake right there. And you know what? Before we go even farther to the right, because we're going to be touring through the rest of the island if we go that way, we got to go to the back area. We already saw one of them, which was it, with Pietro's house, of course. Man, I can't even get through here. I love the way that cemetery was created, though. Uh, oh. Oh, I know what this is. This is the Shawshank Prison. Oh, man. That looks so good with the forced perspective in the museum. Oh, my God. That's such so well done. Bravo. Okay, so we've got to go back through the pet cemetery. We've still got a bunch of different areas to check out here. There's even a maze, a little bit of a maze. Uh, but if we go through this here, we can exit right here. I want to see if this goes back anywhere. 
All right, so that just goes back into the cemetery. Now, there's a maze here. Right, that's just the dead end. Of course, there's one of their actual characters just spooping around the scary maze with blood all over her face and blood under her. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, I guess we need to go back this way, then. There's a, this goes to the maze. So this is... The maze itself is for Overlook Hotel. And of course... Oh, my God. Both of them are in here. Looking all kinds of... Nope. And that's, some shine and some don't. All right. Is there a word right there? Man, I gotta move. Oh, it says red rum. Of course it does. Of course it does. Me scoozy. Me scoozy. I can't get through the, uh, through the maze because of all the murderous uh, villagers in here. Good God. I guess we'll try and go through the other side. This just looks so good, too. Look at this. That's the force perspective for that is just so good. I mean, it's beautiful. Okay, let's go through this other side of the maze and see. We've got a snowman with more red rum. Oh, that snowman does actually look like it's going to murder you. And he's got an axe in front of it. Why is the snowman so spoopy? And this just goes through the house. Like, look how this was created with all of the... That looks... I never thought about doing that with the organs, using the backs of the organs to make these really amazing looking scenes for like a big like mansion or castle. That's just phenomenal. I wish I was that creative. Look at that. It's just so beautiful. All right, we got to move on. I, I got to stop being fascinated with that. We got the uh, Dolores Claiborne. And then Stand By Me is both of these areas through here. Got the well with the rock. And then look at this. Like, that looks so nice with, like, the backpackers going on the railroad tracks into the tunnel right there. It just looks so great. So creative. Now, there is a spot right down here that I want to check out. But I almost missed it. We got to go across this bridge. And we got this area through here. So this is actually somebody in the campsite. That's interesting. Oh, nobody's in there. Well, that's odd. But many of you will know instantly what this is in reference to. Cujo. <laughs> Look at the blood and everything. Man, I remember Cujo from when I was a kid. That movie had me so scared of dogs for like so long. Good lord. So we've got a couple more places to check out. Right through here. Oh, needful things. It says exactly what it is. I actually really love the way this looks for the Nook's Cranny. Just going through here is just so nice. And then the Able Sisters. I really love like how there's an additional level next to everything. They kind of feel like these are kind of built into the area. It just looks really, really nice and extremely creative. And even putting like the little stalls and stuff up on the ledges to create that, that extra depth to it is fantastic. All right, we got to go in over here. And we have something down here. Oh. Okay. I don't want to spend too much time in here. We've got Jerusalem's Lot. What's with that big old fish right there? Oh my goodness. Big old fish, boa. Can we see any little secrets if we go out this way? That looks great. And then we have one last spot down here at the back. This island just feels massive with the way it was, like, the terraforming was used. It's just so nice. This little bridge right here. Oh, there's the big old pumpkin boy. I still haven't gotten that carriage. I need to get it today. And then we've got, what does that sign say? Top secret classified. So this is carry fire starter through here. Oh, and then there's Lucky down there, just chilling like a villain. That looks so good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have officially seen everything on this island. Uh, we haven't gone down to the beach down there, which we, I guess we could kind of, we can kind of see the edges of it, which looks really good. 
Uh, but I do hope you all enjoyed today's island tour. Definitely, if you enjoyed it, make sure to let the creator know what you thought in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.